Hi there. Uh, thank you for joining us for another video. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be showing you again a little bit about our deconstruction process, and we're going to be using on top of the world communities dot com as an example. So on top of the world communities is uh, a retirement community based out of Florida, and they offer plenty of hobby um, hobby rooms, different outdoor activities such as tennis, um, I believe swimming, uh, things like this. And they really advertise their energy efficient homes. Um, so what we did was do a Google search for retirement communities in Florida. And this was one of the results that came up on Google. So as I move down the page, I'll refresh this so you, for you so this image refreshes. Okay, so as we move down this page, you can see immediately that there's going to be a lot of content. So they are advertising their golf courses, uh, their recreation centers, their, um, their local restaurants. And they also have this limited time offer uh, where you can stay there for three days and two nights for $99 and kind of get the full experience to, to figure out if you want to actually stay there um, during your retirement. So... One of the first things that we notice is that the page is, is very long. There's a lot going on on it. Um, there's a lot of cognitive load. So for people who are trying to make a huge life decision, uh, having a lot of cognitive load is especially alarming. So we really wanted to make sure in our concept that uh, we kind of made this much easier to digest. So the next thing you'll notice is that uh, in this top navigation bar, they have this energy efficiency section on their on their website. So if you go to one of these three tabs or three options, you'll see that they uh, kind of break down their their energy efficiency and tell you how much you're going to be saving per year um, if you decide to live in one of these retirement communities versus uh, a different community or your current home. So they do a nice job at helping the helping the shopper visualize what their energy efficient homes do for you or do for the shopper. So we really wanted to make this um, make this apparent on this landing page that we that we ended up on to really help make a much more compelling pitch for people who are looking at these homes. Uh, and the reason for that is somebody who's looking at a retirement home likely wants to make sure that their dollar lasts um, the rest of their life. So if you have an energy efficient home, you're gonna be saving money over the course of your life. So it'll really help you do the things that you really wanna do while in retirement. So we really wanted to bring that out, out front and make this, uh, make this community much more compelling. The next thing we wanted to do, like I already said, uh, is draw some more attention to this limited time offer. Uh, we think this is a great, uh, a great asset for helping build credit, credibility and assurance. And the reason for that is because people who are going to be committing to this, um, this really big life change, really wanna make sure they're making the best choice. So to have this option of being able to stay at this retirement community for three days and two nights uh, is a great way to, to make these shoppers sure that they're making the best choice possible. So they'll be able to go to the community and uh, experience their who would be their neighbors. They're able to experience all the different activities, uh, all the restaurants, the, the local area, and things like that. So we really wanted to make sure that people are seeing this at the very top of the page rather than at the very bottom of the page. Uh, because chances are somebody might get to this point and think this is the footer of the page and not even scroll down even further. Uh, they might not even get down to the bottom of the page because like I said, there is a ton of content. So we wanted to make sure that it's visible up at the top, and we wanted to make sure that the cognitive load on the page is reduced so that people uh, can more easily digest everything that's on the page. And they can choose what they wanna see as well. What we see on many different websites is that they just put everything on the page because they want to uh, accommodate every single shopper that is gonna to come to their page. But the problem with that is you're, you're putting the responsibility on shoppers to uh, navigate through all that content and find exactly what applies to them. So what we want to do is actually uh, show all of these sections up front in um, an easily consumable way. So, for example, we typically show uh, just like section headings and we put that into a drop down so that 
the shopper can read all of the different section headings at once and see immediately which ones they want to look at. So with all that being said, I'm going to show you our concept now. And again, we put this in the Envision app so that it's interactive. Uh, one of the other things that you'll notice immediately is that we wanted to uh, accommodate two different types of shoppers. So one person who comes to this page is going to be shopping for themselves. Uh, they're going to be looking for a retirement community because they're going to be retiring soon or they're already retired. Or you're going to have somebody that's here looking for a retirement community for a family member. So the problem with this page right now is that it's really only um, accommodating that, that first group of people, uh, the ones who are here for themselves. However, if there's somebody here that is looking for a retirement community for their family member, we want to make sure that they have the same assurance um, about, this, about this service, about this community that somebody that is shopping here for themselves would have. So as I scroll down in our concept, if I go to the default state, you'll see that we ask this question, are you looking for a retirement com community for yourself or for a loved one? And then we have two options, myself or, or a loved one. So if they click on myself, we are actually going to be changing this heading here. In the control, you can see that it says the Premier Florida Retirement Community on top of the world. Ours says moving from Michigan and starting life all over again can be anxiety inducing, but it doesn't have to be. So Frictionless Commerce is based out of Michigan. That's where we're located. Uh, so when we did this search for retirement communities in Florida, we wanted to make sure that the content in the heading uh, applied to the actual user. So in our case, we're from Michigan. So what we did is add in this dynamic messaging here that will change based on the state that the user is in if they select that they're shopping for themselves. So uh, as, a Mich as Michiganders, there are plenty of people here that move, in, that move to Florida during the retirement uh, because it's much warmer. Right now there's a lot of snow outside, so uh, it's easy to see why they would move down to Florida. But uh, what this does, like I said, is change based on the state that somebody's from. So if you're from Illinois, this will say moving from Illinois and starting life all over again can be anxiety inducing. Um, however, if you are shopping for a loved one, it'll say moving to a new state and starting life all over again can be anxiety inducing. So that way we kind of cover all of our ground here. And the purpose for this messaging is uh, to kind of create a more personal connection here between the website and the and the shopper. Uh, they're going to feel like this content applies to them because it is referring to their state. And uh, what we've seen in our over 300 tests is that when we use this type of messaging that um, is dynamic and applies to a user's location, uh, as long as it's done in a subtle way like this, it really does contribute to higher conversions. So we wanted to make sure we did that right up front and let users know that this, this service, this community is going to apply to them and it's going to meet their needs. So after that, we've used uh, much of the same copy in this intro section here, except we've also added that uh, they've been in business for over 51 years. So we wanted to make sure that shoppers were seeing what makes them very credible. Uh, they've been doing this for over half a century now. So they definitely have as much experience as somebody would need to run a retirement community. Uh, after that, we wanted to emphasize that this is a retirement community community that does offer many different activities, but apart from just quantity, they also offer high quality. So this is something that they emphasize on their website. It's not just about the number of the activities that they offer or the number of benefits. It's how good those benefits and activities are. So we wanted to make sure that we included that in this copy. The next change you'll notice is that we've added in this content from the bottom of the control. So this is the control. And we've taken some of the content here and added it to the top of the page. That way shoppers are aware that they have this offer. It's going to be always in the back of their mind as they're going through the rest of the content. Uh, so if they, if they do find the content a little bit compelling, uh, this might be the all it takes to push them over the fence and get them to convert uh, or at least commit to the three day, two night stay and then in the future convert. So the next change you'll notice here is that we've added in these drop downs uh, or these collapsible drop downs. So they're all labeled uh, with hobby building, golf, active sports, RC flying, uh, entertainment restaurants, and so on. And these are all 
uh, these all correspond to the different sections on this control page. So this is where the Learning and Education Center is. This is the hobby building. Uh, this is the golf section. And if I move down further, you see these are the restaurants, entertainment. So what we've done is compress all of these into these collapsible drop downs so that if I scroll to this point on the page, I can see every single option that's available to me. Um, and, and if I'm a golfer, I can immediately go to the golf section and look at all the content there. If I'm not a golfer, this means that now I'm not seeing all that extra content that does not apply to me. It's not uh, added content. It's not increasing my cognitive load. It's much easier to digest. Same thing if I don't care about uh, RC flying. If that's not one of my interests, I don't have to look at it. However, if, I, if I'm active, I can go to the fitness section and see what types of uh, benefits they offer there. Same thing with entertainment and so on. So what we've done here is open the energy efficient housing one by default, just to illustrate to you what it would look like in its open state. So we would have some intro copy here. Uh, so for time's sake, we've just said that this would be copy that briefly talks about the energy efficient homes, uh, just to provide this illustration for you. And then we've added this asset that they have on their energy efficient housing page. So like we said, they had uh, some assets that really help the shopper visualize uh, the savings that they would get and the energy efficiency that they would get if they were to go with this um, go with this retirement community. So we wanted to make that clear. Uh, so if we were to open up the hobby building state, you would have all the content related to the hobby building and so on. So that way a shopper can just look at one thing at a time and maintain focus. Uh, one, one thing that we've noticed in our testing over the past nine years is that shoppers who aren't really focused, if they're moving all over the place, uh, they're, they're less likely to convert. So one of the ways we can see this is through Hotjar recordings. Uh, if, you, if you're familiar with Hotjar, it'll actually record um, user behavior on your website. And they also heat map user behavior. So we can definitely see what people are doing. Uh, and these collapsible drop downs are, are a very good way to keep users focused and on task. So those are the changes that we've made. So the next change that we've made is that we've added in this ask a resident section. So what's really great about the control, or not the control page, but the, the site as a whole, is that they have this section on their page or on their website that asks the user to actually ask, uh, ask a resident a question and then Within a couple of days, you will get a response from an actual resident that uh, lets you know everything that you want to know. So we thought this was another great way to build credibility. Uh, it also helps build likability because they're going to be talking with a real person that lives there. It's not some some salesperson, uh, so it's a lot more personable. But the the bigger point here is that uh, when a shopper is on the page, maybe they're not fully. Um, they're not fully sold on the retirement community yet, and they really want to uh, have this other point of assurance, something else that lets them know this is the best choice for you. So by increasing the visibility of this asset, uh, we are increasing the visibility of something that will help establish more credibility and, and get users to convert. So this is currently not located on the control page. It is there. Uh, ask a resident page if you go to the about tab and then scroll down to ask a resident. So this is what we found during deconstruction. We actually didn't just look at the target page. We looked at multiple pages to see if there was anything that we could that we could bring to this page to make it more compelling. So this is one of those one of those things that we found. And uh, like I said, it really does help build credibility. And uh, with that being said, that is the last change we made to this concept. So, so we really hope that you enjoyed this uh, behind the scenes look at our deconstruction process and uh, we hope that you stick around for future videos. So thank you.